Hey, ladies and gents, this is Insta Wiz here with a look at the Mythic Legions Kalazir figure. We're going to review this bad boy right now, and I have a special guest with me. It's Kirkeen. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, I have to say, uh, my wife behaved abominably uh, when I did the unboxing. She helped me with that. Um, and so I... Um, decided hey i'll let her redeem herself because she had in her defense she had eaten approximately 60 chocolate covered almonds and she was a little hyper because she is not uh, a big woman and uh, that's totally out of focus by the way um so anyway i've been dreaming of this genie this one's spelled, this one's spelled D G D J I N N a gin, but I've been dreaming of this guy because I knew he was going to be awesome, and I can't believe how awesome he actually came out. This here is my favorite genie. Before that, because I had a huge crush on Barbara Eden when I was growing up. I mean, because right, she said. Yes, master. Yeah, exactly. What man wouldn't be smitten with a beautiful woman who, <laughs> who who didn't make fart sounds and who just said, yes, master, right? She could say no, master. She just, you know, didn't. Yeah. Anyway, isn't she beautiful? This is my uh, Migo um, I Dream of Genie figure, and she came with... Uh, her master, and I got rid of him because I am now her master. Here. Anyway, you can play with her. This actually reminds me of when I was a little kid and um, Jackie from down the, the road would bring her Barbie over. And we would, and I, I had my giant Mark's Viking, which was my only toy, and we would play. Hmm. And the Viking and Barbie liked each other. So, anyway. <laughs> Okay, try to behave yourself, okay? And I'm going to ask you for opinions on stuff here and there. Okay. And, and try to have interesting opinions. Don't just talk about the colors, okay? Which is what you generally do. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> and this, the tone of sarcasm right there, it, you know, kind of ruins it a little. Yes, master. All right. So, anyway, this guy's evil. Look at the box. He's part of the Poxus. Um, Poxus right here. Look at this. That's his master. Poxus is a... Mm, cool. It's the, like the god of pestilence, right? Um, and let's... So let's find out a little bit more about Kalazir. Kalazir, born of an elemental fire that transcends our physical plane, the Jinn of Mythos are an enigmatic people known for their great power and unpredictable allegiances. Considered spirits by some and demons by others, they are mighty beings who draw their abilities from the elements. Typically bound to inanimate objects by wizards and spellcasters, seeking to tame their unruly strength, jinn are both all-powerful and prisoners of their own existence. The malevolent Kalazir is a rare jinn who has been freed from his bondage, bent on revenge on the magic wielder that imprisoned him. Kalazir is faithful to the cause of Poxus and his war on honorable magic. So, um, he's faithful for now. But who knows how long that will last because he's one of a... He's unpredictable, right? Yes, master. No. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't like that. I don't like that as much as in real life as I liked it on TV. So, um, but I mean, what do you look, what do you think of the look of this guy? Just the details, yeah, the paint, cool. the soft goods. I like the colors. It's not a blue. I like his purple hair. It's a blue green. Yep. Yeah. He's so like the, um, the, the sea creature in that movie, the, the blue guy that I liked. 
Okay, I think it's a picture. little different from uh, the shape of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think it's, it's a, little a little different lighter, blue. But he reminds me of him. Is it because of the head and the patterns on the head, or oh, just, just the color, color in general? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it looks like a kind of a watery type of color. Mm -hmm. But um, look at that magnificent ponytail there on the yes, back. I want purple hair like that. And maybe he's part of Poxus's, um you know, group, because they both have these horns coming out of their head. Yeah. These, like, bony protrusions. That looks mm -hmm. painful. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to comb your ponytail and you poke yourself with one of those bony protr yeah, protrusions. And I, I'm surprised you haven't said anything about, look what he's got hanging from his ears. Oh. Those are oh, real, oh, honest-to-goodness earrings? hoop they earrings. Are. Oh my gosh, you didn't even notice that. So uh, maybe he took those from J Lo, Jenny on the block. Love, uh, so yeah, real, you know, metallic. I don't know. They're probably not gold, but they look gold. Yeah, they shine. Yeah. And then these really cool ears mm. and these awesome eyebrows. eyebrows. They look like uh, like my eyebrows. They look like my eyebrows. Tree branches. <laughs> So they look super awesome. And then he's, he's got, got he's got fang. these fangs coming out. And then he's got this mustache. So all this like this really cool, you know, beard that point mm -hmm. that's pointy. I just wanted to show you guys uh this is his lamp, which is considerably cooler than uh some of the other lamps i've seen it's got two tones on it it's got gold and it's painted really nicely and it's just that classic genie lamp that you think of right when you think mm -hmm. of aladdin right mm -hmm. um that's cool yeah it, the, the belt is really neat and then i really like how there's two tones to the skin right there's like a like blue undertone mm -hmm. and then it's a green maybe mm -hmm. um does he have blue nails? Uh, those are, I think they might or be purple or black. I don't know. Yeah, and his toenails too. Yeah, his toenails oh are painted. That's the kind of attention to detail yeah, you get from the Four Horsemen. And then right here on his head, you have sort of, I don't know if it's ritual scarification or what. Oh, yeah. It looks like his head is yeah. kind of busting open because of all of the magical power he has. Yeah. Like those are some really neat yeah. details. Yeah. And then the hit, how they hit it with the airbrush, so it has two tones and just you know freaky alien humanoid, but like definitely not of this world, right? Mm -hmm. And then you already mentioned this really awesome belt, and then this is something new that we hadn't gotten before, as far as I can remember. These um, are called soft goods. It's just basically like a loincloth, a wired loincloth that you can pose, right? You can pose it like. Because if he's flying up, you know, uh, it could be windswept or whatever. But these pat these golden patterns here, mm -hmm. right? You know, something new in the factory. And then you're playing with um, yeah, a couple of magical effects that he oh, has. Oh, I see. Right? So you would want to figure out which way the wind is blowing, right? And then you would sort of pose the elements of his um, outfit that way because they're wired. Mm -hmm. Right? And I would figure... I. I went and I and I bought this little genie genie lamp in anticipation of him. Mm, interesting. It's kind of purple. We used to have some of those things. Yeah, the and sword and, is really cool. And, yeah, let's, we'll talk about that. But look at that; these are the magical elements. Boing, I've boing, I've boing, seen people I've seen people put these around his feet, so like he's sort of oh, coming. Or yeah, anything. yeah, and and they're purple. They're like, you know energy world wins yes he does have extra hands thank you for pointing that out um i took i put his gesticulating hand in because he's got gripping hands so he can hold a sword or he's got like more looser gripping hands so he can grab you by the neck when you make too much noise right mm -hmm. so okay he took the magic effects um let's let's show the sword let's show the sword off without further ado or without further doo doo from you um look at that Oh, okay. So, yeah, these are like farting effects. That's how a genie farts, folks. Okay, that's canon right there. It farts in a circular motion. Um, you have 
this really cool sword. It's really big. It's kind of like scimitar shaped. And then it's got a dragon head as the hilt with horns and everything. And the sword is, emi- you know, is emitting from the dragon's head. And that is just spectacular. Yeah, cool. Then look at the different two tone paint, like a mm-hmm. coppery. And the head, the eyes are painted. And then this flame emitting from the dragon. So, you know, I don't know. Oops, I don't. <laughs> it didn't. It's not broken. It's not broken. I just hit it up with some heat. So I, I, I heated. I made sure I heated up the figure because when, you, when you're, um, oops. Okay, total. Uh, what? You, before you play with the figures, you got to make sure you hit them with the, with the heat gun because uh, the joints can be stuck, and you know, they can be hard to move because they've been in the cold for a long time. So you don't want to snap any of the the joints. Mm -hmm. So right before I did the review, I took him out and I, you know, hit his joints with some heat. So the plastic is still a little bit soft and, and rubbery, but you know, no harm done. These are meant to come apart. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and okay. And, there were, let me show you some other stuff that I had been preparing in anticipation of the coming of Kalzar. Um, I got this guy. Oh, oh my gosh. That's you ain't so never had a friend, Williams. never had a friend, right? And the reason I did that is because he snaps in half. And oh. I He's thought that this would be sort of a neat thing to do. So this guy snaps in half as well. Oh you know, see, it doesn't break. It's it's a yeah. it's got magical powers, and I noticed that this is gonna fit in pretty nicely there. Oh, Isn't that cool? cool. Yeah, that so cool. I got this um, from the McFarland store for like five bucks, oh. right? And it's not perfect, right? But I can Whack. I can definitely I can definitely. I mean, that's definitely cool. Mm-hmm. I could take some paint probably and paint that mm-hmm. up. And then I could have him. Tra- yeah, so make him a little. Whoops. Whoa, little make him a little. Whack, a little greener. Or the bottom. A little greener. Or maybe yeah. I'll make that a little more purple or mm-hmm. something. But it's just kind of. It, it's a kind of a fun accessory to have. Um, right. Are you trying? Are you trying to put his legs on her head? Mm-hmm. See, not all action figures or dolls snap apart at the waist. Yes, I know. But that would be kind of cool, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, Four Horsemen had made one genie that I'm aware of before this, and it's this guy from Masters of the Universe Classics. I don't remember his name. Uh, I don't know anything about him, but I just bought him because I thought he was a cool action figure. But I think their new guy. Sort of blows this guy out of the water, oh, right? Mm-hmm. But this, I mean, this guy was cool. Yeah, I like the colors for his his time. He's got mm-hmm. those tattoos and everything. Um, but look, I mean, this is the difference between Masters of the Universe classics and um, Mythic Legions is just the level of mm-hmm. detail and verisimilitude, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, I think this guy's awesome. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of character. You could put the energy effects mm-hmm. on his hands. You could put them on his feet. You could make, put them coming out of his butt, <laughs> so so he can be farting. You know, because <laughs> you know how Gandalf uses like the smoke out of his pipe mm-hmm. to, you know, make magical configurations mm-hmm. and stuff. Well, this guy maybe uses the smoke out of his butt. Right? Mm-hmm. You've just added. To the lore of Mythic Legions. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's my review of Kalazir. The other thing I want to point out is that he is a different size than the normal. Uh, he is what's called um, brute scale, right? He just snaps back easily. Um, so this is a normal 1.0 figure. And this is Kalazar. So see how how his shoulders are higher and how he's mm-hmm. bigger. So, all right, he's gonna have a lot of wonderful adventures with the with Genie. Mm-hmm. Right. 
Why don't? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for your help. And uh, it's the Wiz signing out. <laughs> it's it's totally ruined when it's said sarcastically. Is the Wiz signing out?